morning. Welcome to day 10 of Vlogmas. Happy Monday. I have had such a productive morning, which is not always the case for me. I find mornings sometimes a little difficult, but today I woke up ready to go and get organized because like I said yesterday, I have a lot to do this week. I have a few things going on at the end of the week, so I really need to stay on track and get work done. So I gave myself the whole morning to try and work through some household chores and I cleaned all the bathrooms. I actually squeezed in a workout. Who am I? I don't know, but thank you Kay, the crazy sock lady. She has been inspiring me. And we got a treadmill a few months ago and we haven't even used it yet. So I thought today would be the day and I used it and I was really, really pleased with myself. So um, it's almost lunch already. I think I'm gonna make myself another cup of coffee and have a little treat and get into my sewing room before it gets too late and try to work the entire afternoon in there just cutting and prepping a whole bunch of stuff that I have to do. from working in my studio. I have been fusing and ironing for hours and my back was getting a little bit sore because I had um, surgery on my spine in my 20s and if I'm standing in one place for a really long time and not moving around or walking, um, I start to feel uh, a lot of fatigue in my back. So I took a break, I sat down for just two minutes and folded a load of laundry and Camden should be home soon, so I'm gonna to try to get a little bit more work done. I think he's gonna need a lot of help tonight with studying and some assignments that he has to do, so I'm gearing up for that. That's always fun. I managed to get through a huge stack of fusing today, so I'm feeling really good about what I got done today. I am going to get my glasses on so that I can knit more comfortably. I'm going to try to squeeze in a little bit of knitting before I start dinner. It is already 4.30. It's getting dark. I've already had a stern talking to with my teenager about responsibility and homework. That was fun. So I don't have a lot of time before dinner prep. I am going to work on my adventurous wrap just a little bit and... Um, just sit down for a bit before I'm back at it in the kitchen. You guys, I am so excited. I'm supposed to be making dinner, but I was just tagged on Instagram that I won a yarn giveaway. It's the Woolberry Fiber Co. yarn giveaway that was on Instagram, and I never win anything. So what a treat. Thank you so much, Bethany. I know what a treasure your yarn is. I am lucky to have a couple of skeins in my collection and they are just gorgeous. So I'm so excited. Thank you so much. We are having one of my favorite types of dinners, which is just a mishmash of everything. I had a lot of leftover linguine from last night's dinner and the best thing to do with leftover spaghetti or linguine is to make a pizza out of it. So I have beaten a couple of eggs with lots of salt and pepper and a couple of handfuls of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. I am just mixing it all up in this bowl. And then I'm going to pile it up in this frying pan with some olive oil, flatten it like a pancake and fry it until the edges are really crispy and all the cheese has melted on the inside and then you slice it like a pizza. It is so good. With that, we're going to have some steamed broccoli. I also have leftover quiche, if the boys want a little bit more to go with that. And Glenn and I love this dip. It's from Costco. It's a smoked salmon dip with these incredible um, crackers. They are so yummy. And to top it off, we have leftover dessert from last night. Could it get any better? 